Okay, so today we're gonna do some mill work. I'm just gonna mill up some uh, some bead and cove strips for our cedar strip boat, and uh, it's a pretty straightforward process. Uh, first, you just need a, a nice stack of uh, cedar. Um, I've got some clear eastern cedar from Manitoulin Island, uh, but you can use a uh, you know whatever cedar is available. Basically, you want to you want to use clear cedar. The less knots, the better. Uh, typically, eastern cedar has a lot of knots, so I have to go and uh, manually sort through the the pile of uh, uh, rough lumber that they've sawn and uh, try to select the best wood available. Um, but it is is possible to do. So if you're looking at uh, uh, building your own cedar strip boat it, and you have a cedar mill local just go and visit them and tell them what they're after uh, you might get lucky they might sort it for you otherwise they'll probably show you a big pile of wood and you go and spend a day and pick through it and uh, you know fortunately with that you get to pick the best so uh, before we get started um, just a point of safety always wear your, your eye protection when using table saw, of course. Um, other safety protection you might want to use uh, some sort of earmuff or earplug, right, for your noise, and uh, some sort of uh, uh, dust mask. Uh, while doing this video, uh, I may or may not have the, the earmuff or earplugs or dust mask on, uh, just to make it easier to film and, and talk. But at the same time, once in a while, I probably will. Uh, another a point on that is that uh, I will be using a dust collector connected to my table saw. So uh, if you don't have, uh, you know, a proper working environment uh, with a dust collector system connected to your table saw, I strongly recommend you wearing the safety protection and also uh, work in a well-ventilated area. Right, uh, cedar is not the, the most dangerous wood to work with, but uh, any dust is, uh, you know, potentially hazardous, and uh, we'll be doing a lot of cutting, so there will be a lot of dust created. Okay, so thanks. I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so in preparing the the cedar lumber, what I've done is I've I've purchased four quarter rough cedar okay and clear lumber um, from a local sawmill um, now because it's four quarter i've had to mill it down uh, using my planer and i've taken it down to five eighths thickness all right so so i've already done that okay i uh, didn't record that because i didn't want anyone you know watching me push lumber through a, a planer for a couple hours um, but that's done and then the next thing I've done is I've used the joiner and I've created a straight edge along the the one side okay now uh, like I like I've said I'm an experienced woodworker so there is a bit of skill involved in this um, and of course there's cost in having the tools available in your shop so if you don't have a shop with the with a planer and a joiner uh, this this could be something that you can get the sawmill to do for you. Um, if it is, uh, remember, uh, well, the thickness, the width of the strip uh, that you're after is the thickness of the board. Okay, so I could have gone uh, half inch, or I could have gone three quarters of an inch. I like using five eighths because it's a a, a little bit easier. Um, especially in some of the curves, you need a very flexible strip. Um, sometimes you have to twist the strip to apply it to the station mold, so 5 8 is good for that. Uh, as far as running the boards on the joiner, you only need to do that on one edge. Okay, That's going to be the edge that we, we butt up against the fence on the table saw, and you want that to be nice and straight, so that way when you're milling your strips, uh, you don't have to uh, waste a lot of lumber and you know be very frustrated uh, trying to, to cut nice straight 5 8 strips uh, for the full length of the board. Uh, that's what a joiner is for, to, to make a smooth edge. So 
definitely do that. Uh, otherwise, you will be wasting a, a lot of time and a lot of wood. Uh, some people think that you might be able to uh, saw off, uh, you know, the, the bow in the uh, the board, and uh, then eventually have a nice straight line. Uh, but I'll tell you that uh, uh, the job can be done in half the time with a joiner, and you're guaranteed a, a nice smooth edge the full length. So, so I highly recommend that. Um, so yeah, so once again, that's already been done on these boards. We're starting off with the table saw, and this board is 5 8 thick, and every board is going to be different for the width, um, just because that's the way it comes from the sawmill, uh, uh, especially when you're buying rough lumber, right? It's not it's not dressed, okay? So it's going to be all random widths. Um, so we got 5 8 thickness, and that's all we need to get started. We'll just have a quick look at the table saw setup. So basically, of course, I'll be pushing the wood through on this side, and it's going to run across. And I have a little table platform here, okay? Set it up just slightly lower, okay? That way I don't catch it on any edge, all right? And the boards are going to just run down, and that's going to help support a lot of the weight. Okay, I've got my dust collector hooked up on the bottom. Right, hose running through, and I've got enough room set up between my dust collector and the table saw so that if I need to go down to the other side, I can easily walk through. Okay. So in order to set up the table saw, I'm going to cheat a little. You, likely if you're watching this to do your first sear strip boat, you don't have this on hand, but I always uh, keep a piece of uh, strip on hand. All right, I actually have quite a few uh, full length strips, but I, I keep usually a smaller piece on hand just to set up the table saw. It makes it a lot easier. Um, but most table saws come with some sort of gauge to measure the the, the width of the cut, uh, so you should be able to just do that easily. Um, but basically, with my strip, I'm I'm just able to double check. And I'm just going to do that now so that you can see. So first, I need to raise up my blade, and I'm going to raise it up so that it's high enough to clear the wood. Okay, but uh, one thing I don't like to see personally, it, just from a safety perspective, is a uh, blade sticking up. You know, two inches higher than the material being cut. Uh, you know, that's overkill, and it, you know it's a little bit risky. Um, you know, the, the blade's not doing anything being out of the wood that much, so uh, it's, for me, I, I prefer to have the blade so that it's, you know, about half an inch higher than the material being cut. That way the teeth are clearing the, the wood, but, uh, uh, you know, it's just a little bit safer. Um, I haven't been cut by a table saw yet. Uh, hopefully I never will be. Uh, but when I think about the blade sticking out that far, what comes to my mind is uh, what would I rather, uh, would I rather the blade go into my hand, uh, you know, a quarter of an inch or half an inch, or would I rather it go through an inch or two, okay? Um, obviously I don't want either, uh, but uh, the, the smaller cut, the better, I think. So, so I always, uh, you know, I use my strip so that I can get the height of the blade and then I'm going to move my fence over as well, okay, and I'm going one quarter of an inch thick, so I'm going to push my, my fence over. I'm looking at the gauge down here as well as checking the strip itself, okay, and when I have the strip in place, I'll move it back and forth a little bit, and if I see the the saw blade just moving slightly, then I know it's good. If, if it's rubbing and it's tight, then likely I'm going to cut more than a quarter of an inch. Uh, but this is just a good way to double check to get started. Um, we know the saying, measure twice, cut once. Well, this is, uh, you know, the first step of measuring twice. Uh, I'll do this, and then after I cut my first strip, I'll compare it and uh, double check the thickness there as well. Okay, so uh, whatever type of fence you have, lock it down, 
and you should be ready to get cutting, okay?